as many of you guys know, my name is Megan Thomas. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the overuse of technology. And before we get started, how many of you guys have checked your phone today? How about your Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, <laughs> A survey conducted by Times Magazine, it was taken by 5,000 people, found that 20% of the respondents check their phone every 10 minutes. Now for me that sounded a little bit outrageous, so I watched my sister for two hours without her knowing. The first hour, on average, she checked it about six times. The second hour was a little bit like 12 times. Um, I mean, excuse me, every six minutes, and then the second time it was like every 12 minutes. That was pretty accurate. 84% of the respondents said that they couldn't go a single day without their cell phones. I couldn't. Looks like most of you guys couldn't. 50% of Americans sleep with their phones next to them like a teddy bear or a spouse. And also according to another uh, re uh, survey done by a Kayser Family Foundation, uh, the average teen spends about 10 hours and 45 minutes using technology and social media. And that was in 2009, that was several years ago. As technology increases, that time increases. The effect of the overuse of technology According to a research done by the American Academy of Pediatrics, the overuse of technology can lead to attention problems, school difficulties, sleep and eating disorders, and obesity. It discourages infants' learning and physical interactions, causes attention problems, causes school difficulties, and makes it easier to do that. Many <coughs> think that it makes it easier to cheat on your spouse. Adults and children spend uh, hours upon hours in front of screens. This causes obesity, the constant sitting, not moving around, the not going outside and playing and that kind of stuff. According to ncpnews.com, for every 10% rise in the country spends on information and communication technology, there's a 1% increase in obesity rates. It discourages infants. Because the first two years of your life is so important to the development of your brain, physical and contact, excuse me, physical contact is necessary during this age Children should be finding things out, exploring, that kind of stuff. Dr. Eric Sigma, who has a degree in psychology, a master's of science degree, and then your physical, logical base, basis of behavior, and a PhD in the field of rule of attention and automatic nervous system regulation, says that no child under the age of two should be exposed to the TV screen. Professor Dimitri A. I'm not exactly sure how to say that last name, Christy? A kiss, maybe, from the Seattle Children Research Institute, points out that 9 out of 10 infants spend 40% of their time in front of the TV screen. Uh, it causes attention problem. Because of technology, most of us multitask doing everything throughout the day. So that makes it hard to focus on one thing. For example, when, for me, whenever I'm doing my homework online, I'm on Facebook, I'm texting, I don't know about you guys, but that's just me. Also, whenever you have conversations with your friends, you notice that right in the middle of the conversation, they'll pull out their phones, they'll start texting, they're not even paying attention to what you're saying. It's a little bit annoying. <laughs> um, it causes schools difficulties. Kids spend more time playing video games and searching the web than they do doing their homework. According to Dr. Jim, Ta excuse me, according to Dr. Jim Taylor, who conducted a research involving children and technology in September of 2012, the average young person spends up to 10,000 hours playing video games and online games by the age of 21. 10% of the children from two to five years old know how to open a web browser while only 9% can tie their shoes. Also, the 10,000 hours, that's about the same time it takes you to finish middle school and high school. Um, people believe that it makes it easier for you to cheat. When people overuse technology, it makes them become distant or secluded easier. People have more cyber conversations than they have face-to-face -face conversations. This also makes it more likely for this person to become lonely or depressed. And the Times Magazine survey that they did, 24% admitted that um, admitted that they used text messages to meet with someone that they were having an affair with. And I know that 24% doesn't seem like a huge number, but out of about 5,000 people, that's 1,200 people. There are ways to avoid overusing technology. Um, some ways to do that is create rooms in your house where it's screen free. In our house, it's the kitchen when we eat. But you can have it the living room, whatever. Set daily limits for yourself on the amount of social media you use, on the amount of texting, TV watching, etc. that your family does. Let online 
offline activities stay offline. It's anything that you can do off the computer, you should do that. Um, when using the computer, prioritize your task. Don't let your mind wander to social media and etc. Um, don't set your kids in front of the TV. Create activities and crafts to keep them occupied. And have family game nights. And at least once a month, you should have something that you do outside. And whenever I say games, I don't mean video games. And what will happen if you follow my solution? I'm not one of those people who think technology is going to ruin the world. If it is limited, if it's controlled, then me and technology get along. <laughs> what happens without my solution? You suffer from obesity. You continue to be ignored by your best friend. Fight with your significant other. You won't remember anything, retain any, any information. Won't be able to pay attention. And this is really just scratching the surface of technology. It also causes a lot of other problems like pollution, etc. And you can prevent the overuse of technology really 